out here at Troyer today with our good friend Jeremy, our crew man for Gil Tag, and of course on the microphone, there he is right there. We got him again, Kyle Inman with us. We're going to show you how he used the sheet metal uh, sheet metal brake here. This is a belly pad for an asphalt modified. All right, walk us through what he's going to do here. Yep. So we got a, a fresh off the laser, the uh, the belly pan, which is kind of nice. He's got a couple little bend dots in it. The benefits of the laser there, and we're going to get ready to hem over the front of it. Um, first step here, we're going to put up the the lip where the Zeus buttons and everything will attach and your, your front lower half can go to. Um, so and you see uh, the lines he's looking for. See that little piece right there? That's what he's trying to get right on the edge there. And he's got another piece on the other side and then he'll clamp it down, right? Yep. No pressure, Jeremy. Okay. All right. I'll give him some room and I'll we'll put the second bend in. How many bends all together? There's six, seven, six, six, yes, seven. six okay. bends in this one. So, so pull that through. And another another key part with this that everybody's experienced when they get body panels that are folded when the plastic's stuck and tucked oh, underneath. That. That's, uh, that's yeah, never any fun. razor blade usually for that, or did you do that ahead of time, Jeremy? I did that ahead of time. Okay, so yeah. we run the razor blade down the edge here so that you can get rid of this plastic piece. But again, if you've assembled bodies, you know what he's talking about. Yeah. So he'll pull that off. Some of this new aluminum has not, not been the most friendliest to get that, get the get the masking off of it, but uh, you know. And the cost of obviously raw materials has been going up or way uh, up. Way up like crazy, you know. Materials almost doubled. Almost it's doubled. Twice okay. as, costs twice as much, and it's twice as hard to get. So this here, we're hemming it over, doing the final crimp on it. Um, so then we've got we'll that bringing lip. those two pieces together. Okay. Yep. So it's actually double thick in the front. That's what essentially makes the little splitter area um, for the front nose. There's his little mark again right there. And here we go again. What's a good sheet metal brake going for nowadays? Oh, one like this. I mean, you can you can right around sixty-five, seventy-five hundred dollars. I um, guess I was expecting a bigger number. Okay. You know, for for some of them, I mean, you can spend up to. Uh, about well, twelve thousand, probably, depending on the depend on the size you get. You know, this is just a standard brake. Uh, you know, when you get a finger brake, that'll do larger pieces or more intricate pieces. You know, the the cost goes up with that as well, where you can kind of remove parts and pieces of it. Um, but you know, something like this, an eight footer like this, uh, you know, is right right in that range. So, okay, so now you can see it's really starting to take shape here. Looking more like a belly pan. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot bigger than the ones on the Sportsman and the Modifieds, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. So this one just basically goes underneath the motor um, and underneath the, the front end to hang out the car. Yeah, I believe there's there's some rule in uh, the NASCAR Modified rules on how far it can go back. So that's... Uh, and that's it? And that's it. All done. So, so that took uh, barely three minutes to change. Yep. To make, how many did you make a day? Or how many... Oh, that's it. There's probably how yeah. many you made? How many times have you finished a piece today, Jeremy? Three cars worth. Three cars worth. Okay. So, so that's probably. how a sheet metal brake works. That's how they do this stuff. We did a bunch of stuff today, so make sure to look for that. Make sure to look for uh, TFR. Yep, TFR. TFR. Make sure to look for them online. Hey, man, good to see you. Thanks Appreciate for taking it. us through. Absolutely. Thanks for being here.